In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the Duolingo app and it's going to be a step-by-step -step beginner's guide how you can use it effectively. So the first step is going to be for us to, of course, go into our Duolingo app. So you need to get the Duolingo app. And then if you don't have an account already, then they will ask you to create an account and then you can do so in just a couple of seconds. And the first step is going to be that you, you will probably be taken to this page right here, as you can see. What I'm going to do now is to just click on the flag symbol in the top left corner. So I'm going to click on the flag symbol. So as you can see for me right here, it's the Chinese language or Mandarin that I'm currently learning. But let's say that we want to be able to learn another language as well. Well, then we're going to click on course, as you can see. So click on course and it will take you straight to this page right here, which is perfect. So you're probably actually now on this page, if you just created your account, it will ask you what kind of language that you want to be able to learn. And this is one of the most important steps. So as you can see, let's say that you're German speaking, right? Well, then you need to select where it says for German speakers. But if you're English speakers, you can scroll down in here and find your language. The reason why you need to firstly find your language in here is because it will actually translate your language to the another language. So it's going to be easier for you to compare the two languages, basically. So if you take wrong language in here, well, then it's going to be pretty much like impossible for you to compare. You're going to get a new language and a new language basically to compare with. So it's not going to work, right? So you need to find your language in here. Scroll down. Like you can scroll a lot. And as you can see, it says more in here. Click on more and you will be able to find even more languages in here. You should be able to find your language in here. If you scroll down and check like uh, longer down here, you will be able to find, I think, mostly like almost every language in here as I would I would think so at least. So I'm just going to scroll up in here once again. And let's say that, yeah, I'm an English speaker. So I'm going to scroll down where it says for English speakers, as you can see. So let's say now we want to learn any of these languages right here. As you can see, we can take, for example, let's take Spanish just because it's like the most popular, I think, on this app. So I'm just going to take Spanish just as an example for this tutorial. So we need to firstly select the language in here. So when you're ready to start learning the language, just select it. And then of course, as I said before, find where it says for, and then your language speaker, basically, then choose the language that you want to be able to learn. So I took Spanish. Now I'm going to click on continue in here. Just going to load as you can see. And perfect. It's going to ask us how much Spanish I know, as you can see. So I'm just going to take, I'm new to Spanish, then I'm going to click on continue. But I've as you can see, there's different kind of stages to this. So for example, if you know some common words, maybe you have some friends in Spain or any other Spanish speaking countries and you have learned some common words, well, then you can choose this one, of course. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to take I'm new to Spanish and then we're going to click on continue. Perfect. As you can see, uh, we can start from scratch or we can even find our level as you can see. And this one is actually really important. I will actually select find my level. Because what will happen is that it will actually locate your level and it might be much, much more fun for you to actually know your level and start from your level instead of starting from scratch. Maybe you're much better in scratch, scratch and it's going to be like much more uh, like it's not going to be as fulfilling for you to start there, I guess, because if you already know it, well, then it's going to be a bit boring, I think. So we're going to click on find my level. And perfect. As you can see, it should start with section one. Okay, perfect. It says that it should start right here. Select the current correct image. El Hombre, as you can see. Uh, I think it's uh, it's the man, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> let's see if it actually is correct. And yeah, it's correct. And we're going to take this one right here. So yeah, it's going to basically find our level here, I guess. So I'm going to click on continue. And basically what will happen now is that it will find my level right here, as you can see. And I just have to go through this like step by step until the very end. And it will select my perfect level to start with. But I'm just going to cancel this just for now. Let's see if I can go back. I'm going to end session. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you exactly how it's going to look. Actually, I'm going to click on start from scratch because I think it's going to just take me straight to the, what it's going to look like for you, basically. Oh, actually, it's basically the same. OK, I'm just going to go back once again. And perfect, yeah, to this page right here, as you can see. So this is the page that I want 
uh, that I wanted to take you to basically. As you can see right here, it says start. And as you can see, all of this right here, it's going to be you moving forward in your classes. So basically, when you actually uh, start learning a language, when they have assessed your level, well, then you should come to something similar to this page right here where you can just click on start because if you're a beginner to language you're going to start from this level right here or the level that they have assessed for you and then when you're done you can just click on start but as you can see there's actually other kind of features in here for example there's this one right here complete 20 quest this april to help oscar paint yeah as you can see there's like a couple of side quests here that you can also do if you want to you can even click right here and you can even have a leaderboard by creating a profile. So if you're going to sign into your account or create a profile right here, as you can see, you will be able to com uh, compete in leaderboard. So you will be able to see how you're doing and compared to other people, basically, that is doing the same thing as you. And that's a pretty cool feature with Duolingo, in my opinion, that you are able to actually compete with other people. And that might even bring your motivation a bit more to learn a language because you're competing with others and maybe you want to be on, on the top if that's the kind of person you are, I guess. If you're a competitive person, this is perfect. If you're not, you don't have to uh, participate in this. This is just like if you want to, basically. And yeah, you can even connect with friends, as you can see. And it's similar to this. Like if you have a account or you have a, like a profile in Duolingo, you will be able to connect with your friends. And when you connect with your friends, you will be able to see your progress in comparison to them as well. So once again, if you are like a competitive person and you want to compete against your friends, this is perfect. If you're not, I would suggest you not to enable this, to be honest, because uh, like it's kind of, I don't know, if you're not a competitive person, you want to take it slow, you want to learn in your own pace, it might be a little bit stressful if you see your friends doing much better and you want to be able to catch up, but you feel overwhelmed, well then, yeah, probably not the best thing to enable this one, to be honest. And this notification, as you can see, you can like you can enable this one and you will be able to get notification about your friends, your see your friends updates and stuff like that. This is not as important to be honest. So I'm just going to go back to this page right here. Well, perfect. Now we have gone through the most basic things with Duolingo. And another thing that's also very, very important. If you do click on the flag symbol in the top left corner, as you can see, you have the Spanish or the Spain flag in the top left corner now. As you can see, you can even switch your uh, languages in here. So for example, now I have Spanish, I have Chinese as well. I can always switch to another language as well. So if I get, uh, like, if I'm, if I want to learn a new language, I can just switch as you can see. And if you don't have another language, just click on course in here and you will be able to get another language in here pretty easily. And another thing that is pretty cool with Duolingo is that it's a lot of it's a, of, of course it's a lot about learning the language but it's also like maintaining your uh, like language learning streak i guess like for example if you're doing like one two three days in the row it's going to actually kind of hype you up to continue doing it it's a, it's a cool feature with duolingo because it's kind of like reminding you that your streak is about to end and you don't you don't want to end yours maybe like 100 day streak for example so you go, you're going to keep going you're going to push yourself to learn a new language and you're going to push yourself to continue every day that's one of the absolutely like coolest thing with duolingo in my opinion is that it actually pushes you to the right direction when it comes to learning languages at least in my opinion so basically this is exactly how you can use the duolingo app now in 2024 effectively